Yeah, what's good, Smiley? We can't be back with another guy. We know Cat today. We got six alone at work. Night shifts, horror story animated. We're on the last part, part six, bro. Before we get a video, make sure you like, subscribe. We get this bitch, no cap, bro. Let's watch this bitch. Let's see what the last one is, bro. We're gonna get that, of course, he is. What's up, guys? Pause the video. I gotta tell you about Karma. I've been using Karma for the past. Year now. It's an all in one shopping app and extension that helps you get any product you want. I work at a Montessori school, which is basically just a really small school with three to four very tiny classrooms for children. Where I work, the classrooms are on the lower level of a church, and my job is to clean them every night after the classes. It would only take me around two hours to clean all the rooms, but I worked the closing shift at a nearby. Bro, there's no way this girl. Hold on, this girl that's talking shit. Her and her husband are both fat fucks. Oh my god, this is so fucking crazy, bro. Hey, foreign pills haters are the fucking most stereotypical nobodies, bro. Like, bro, her boyfriend a bitch too, cause her boyfriend let her have a, a, a man. I mean, her husband. Let's have a male best friend. So you know he a bitch. And he fat. And she fat. That's sad, bro. They're gonna have fat babies together. It's all good, though. ...store as well. So I wouldn't get to the school until around 10.30 most nights. Okay. Something you should also know is that the church shared a parking lot with an old people's home directly across from it. I will admit, a lot of weird and creepy things have happened at this school. But the weirdest had to be what happened just a couple weeks back. What happened a couple weeks back? I had just finished cleaning the second room and was beginning to move all of my cleaning supplies to the third room. It was probably around 11.45 at this time, which meant that I was running a little bit behind, so I was trying to rush. As I crossed the hallway to the third room, I hear loud bells echoing throughout the church upstairs. Someone had rung the doorbell. What the hell? At 11.30? In the church? Oh, fuck that shit. I'm running out that bitch. Nobody has ever shown up during any of my shifts before, as it was always so late, and both the school and the church were closed hours before. Church is closed? I was closed? a little nervous, so I slowly made my way up the stairs and towards the door. It was one of those wooden doors with big tinted glass windows on it. Trying not to be seen, I looked around the corner to see who was outside. I saw an old woman, probably in her 70s or 80s, Damn. standing right outside the door. Don't open it. I backed away before she could notice me. I decided to ignore it. And Good. She had just wandered off, and one of the attendants at the old people's home would pick her up. I started my cleaning again, mopping the floors of the room. But only a few minutes later, I heard banging echo through the halls. I jump a little. Yeah, fuck that shit, bro. Get out that bitch, bro. The banging stopped for a few seconds and was followed by the old lady yelling from outside. It was hard to make out what she was saying, so I made my way back upstairs, where I could hear clearly what she was calling out for. She was calling for someone named Abby. Who the hell is Abby? She's just repeating her name. Oh yeah, fuck that shit. Call the old people and tell them to come collect them, bro. As I to the door, the woman stopped. I looked around the corner and she wasn't outside the door anymore. It was a little bit unsettling, but I assured myself that someone probably came and got her after they heard her yelling. I turned around and began my way back. Out of the corner of my eye, I see the old lady staring at me through the window right beside the stairs. She looked me in the eyes and yelled, Abby, help me. Yo. Her eyes were wide open and her hair was long and gray. I immediately ran back downstairs and locked myself in one of the classrooms. Why the hell did you lock yourself in the I basement? I took my phone out and called the old people home next door. And I told them the situation, asking if maybe she'd wandered away from them. The lady on the line told me that everyone was there. They would have noticed if anyone had left, as they're required to check out. She said that she would double check with security and to stay on the line just in case. 
While I waited, I heard banging on the window upstairs. And then a few seconds later, the woman on the phone describes the old lady's features and asks if that was her. I said yes and mentioned that she keeps yelling for someone named Abby. Who the hell is Abby? There was a small moment of silence. Ma'am, I spoke softly back into the phone. She replied, warning me not to approach her and to find somewhere safe to stay until they could have someone come out and get her. What the hell is wrong with her? Obviously, this just made me even more terrified. I stayed in the room, What's still wrong with her, listening to the repeated banging on the window from upstairs. Now, this building was pretty old, and I wasn't sure how long those windows would hold if she kept banging on them. Eventually, I heard some male voices from outside, and after what sounded like a struggle, they left. I sat there for a few minutes, just thinking about what had happened. What the hell had I happened? I up and finished cleaning the rooms. The whole situation felt pretty unreal. And knowing that so nobody's gonna tell us why building across from me still makes me nervous I never found out who Abby was or why the lady was trying to get into the church but I'm just glad I never what the opened fuck, the door. Wow. hey but if you enjoyed the reaction make sure you like comment and subscribe